Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So after installing the latest update on your Windows 11 computer, if you are unable to launch any games from Xbox app on your Windows computer, then please follow the steps shown in this video. So first of all, uninstall the latest install update from Windows 11. So uninstalling the update should fix the problem. So please follow the steps shown in this video. This you can open Windows 11 settings, then go to Windows Update, then go to Update History. Scroll down, then click on Uninstall Update. Now select the update which was recently installed and on the top you will see the Uninstall option. Click on Uninstall, click on Yes and let the uninstallation complete. Now click on Restart Now to restart your computer. Now after the system restart, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to my Google Drive. I have uploaded show and hide troubleshooter to my Google Drive. So click on download. And once the download is complete, run this file. Now this is show and hide troubleshooter from Microsoft. So click on next. And let the search complete. Now click on hide updates and you should be able to see the update which you have just uninstalled. In my case, it's KB5013943. Click on next and let the process complete. Now once done, close this window. Now next time, when you go to settings and when you go to windows update and when you click on check for update, it will skip that particular update. So it will not install that update anymore. Now still after uninstalling the update, still you are facing the problem, then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video. First of all, verify and repair the game. So open Xbox app on the left hand side here you can see all the installed game. So select the game which is giving you the error message and then make a right click. This is just an example, I am selecting Minecraft launcher. So whichever game is giving you the error message, just make a right click on that game and then click on manage. You can also click on these three dots and then click on manage. Now go to files. Now click on verify and repair. Click on yes to allow. Now once done, try launching the game. First step is to restart your computer. So go to the start menu, click on the power icon, then click on restart. And after the system restart, launch the game. Now the next step is to create a desktop shortcut and then launch the game. Now for this, open Xbox app on your computer. Now over here, you will see the list of all the games over here, which is installed on your computer. Now, with whichever game you are receiving the error message, select that game. So this is just an example. I'm selecting Minecraft launcher. So whichever game is giving you the error message, select that game. Once you select it, over here you will see three dots, three vertical dots over here. So click on this vertical dots and then click on create shortcut, desktop shortcut. So click on it and then go to desktop. Now over here you will find the desktop shortcut for that particular game. Now make a double click over here and then launch the game. Now still you are receiving the error message. Then the next step is to run the game as an administrator using the desktop shortcut. Now for this, make a right click on the shortcut and then click on run as administrator and then check. Now this has worked for many players so it might work for you. Now the next step is to repair or reset the game. For this, go to the start menu and then click on settings. Now go to apps. Now go to apps and features. Now find the Xbox game in the list. So whichever game is giving you the error message, find that game. For example, I'm just writing Minecraft launcher. So this is just an example. Whichever game is giving you the error message, find that game in the list. And then if you have Windows 10, click on it and then you will see advanced option. Now, if you have Windows 11, then click on this three dot and then click on advanced option. Now scroll down and then click on repair. And after the repair, launch the game. If that does not resolve, then click on reset, reset, and after the reset, launch the game. 
Now the next step is to delete Microsoft Store local cache file for this. Go to this location. So open File Explorer, then go to this PC, open C drive. Now open Users folder. Now open your username folder, and then open App Data folder. Now if you don't see App Data over here, on the top click on View, and then put a check on the box which says Hidden Items. Now if you have Windows 11. Then somewhere over here you will see view. Click on view. Then select show, and then put a check on hidden items, and then you should be able to see this app data folder. Open this app data folder. Then open the local folder. Now find the packages folder. Open the packages folder. Scroll down. Now find this folder that is Microsoft. Windows Store underscore some alphanumeric character. So open this folder, and then here you can see local cache folder. Make a right click, then click on delete, and now try to launch the game. Now the next step is to log in with same account on Xbox app and with same account on Microsoft Store. So open Microsoft Store on your computer. Now on the top right you will see your profile icon. So click on your profile icon. So click on the profile icon over here, and then you will see the sign out option. Click on sign out, then sign in. Now select the right account, and then click on continue. Now it will be asking for your PIN or password. So enter the PIN or password over here. Now once logged in, open Xbox app. On the top left here, you can see your profile icon. Click on it, then click on sign out. Now click on sign in. Again sign in. Now select the same account which you have used on Microsoft Store. Now once logged in with same account on Store and on Xbox app, now launch the game. Now the next step is to install all updates in Microsoft Store. So open Microsoft Store on your computer. Now on the bottom left here you can see library option. Click on library. Now on the top right here you can see the option which says get updates. Click on get updates. And once all the updates are installed, restart your computer and then launch the game. Now the next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now click on Windows update or update and security, and then click on check for update and install all the update. And after the installation, restart your computer. Now the next step is to run ws reset command. So type in ws reset in Windows search box and then click on ws reset. This will open this black screen. Do not close this black screen. This black screen will go away and it will open Microsoft Store. Now the black screen is gone and it's opening Microsoft Store. Now try to launch the game. Now the next step is to repair or reset Xbox app and Microsoft Store. For this, type in Xbox app in Windows search box. Make a right click on Xbox app. And then click on App Settings. Scroll down. Here you can see the Repair option. Click on Repair. And after the repair, check for the error message. Still you are receiving the error message. Then Reset. So click on Reset, Reset, and after the reset, check. Now the next step is to Run this command. This command is provided in the video description. So copy this command. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box. Make a right click on Windows PowerShell. Then click on Run as administrator. Click on Yes to allow. Paste the command over here. Hit the Enter key. Now this process will take some time. Now during this process, you will see some errors in red color. So if you see any errors in red color, just ignore it and let the process complete. Now, once done, close this window and then check for the error message. Now, the next step is to start all these services. So, type in services in Windows search box and then click on services. Now, find IP helper in the list. Make a double, double click on IP helper and make sure startup tag is set to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. 
Now find all the Xbox services. At the end here, you can see all the Xbox services. Make a double click on each Xbox services. Set it to automatic, then click on apply. Click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Set it to automatic, apply. Click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Automatic, apply, start, then click on OK. Again, automatic, apply, start, OK. Now find Windows update. Make a double click on Windows update. Set it to automatic, apply. Click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now find gaming services. Make a right click and then click on start. Make sure gaming services are running. If not running, make a right click, then click on start. If it's already running, make a right click, then click on stop. Again, make a right click, then click on stop. Now restart the service. Make a right click, then click on start. Again, make a right click, start. So make sure gaming services are running over here. Now find Microsoft Store install service. Make a double click, set it to automatic. Apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now check for the error message. Now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall gaming services. For this, copy this link, uh, copy this command. The command is provided in the video description. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell. Then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you always open PowerShell as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here. Hit the enter key. This will uninstall gaming services. Now copy the next command. This command is also provided in the video description. Paste it. Hit the enter key. This will open Microsoft Store on your computer. Then you will see the install option to install gaming services. Click on it. Then click on yes to allow. And let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, now you can check. Also make sure Xbox identity provider is installed for this copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website and click on get in store app. It will prompt you to open Microsoft store. So click on open Microsoft store and you will see the install option over here. If you, if this is not installed, you will see the install option. If this is already installed, you won't see any button over here. So once this is installed, check. Now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game. So whichever game is giving you the error message, uninstall that game. And this is just an example. Write the name of the game in the search box, make a right click, then click on uninstall, uninstall. Now after the uninstall, restart your computer. And after the system restart, open Xbox app, reinstall the game from Xbox app, and then launch the game. Now the last step is to use media creation tool to update your windows. If you have Windows 10, copy this link. If you have Windows 11, copy this link. Windows 10 users, go to this website. Here you can see media creation tool. Click on download tool now, and then run this exe file. Then you will see the screen. Click on accept. By default, upgrade this PC now would be selected. Click on next. It will start downloading Windows 10 along with the latest update. Now this process will take some time. Now, once the download is complete, before the installation, you will see the screen which says ready to install. And by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. So click on install. And once the installation is complete, log into your computer. Now, for Windows 11 users, go to this website. Here also, you will find media creation tool. Click on download now. And then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. Now this will load Windows 11 media creation tool. Now click on accept. By default, Windows 11 would be selected. Click on next. Select ISO file, then click on next. You can save the location. You can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here. Now once the download is complete, click on finish and then go to desktop. Find Windows ISO file. Make a double click on Windows ISO file. Then run the setup file. Make a double click on setup file. Click on yes to allow. This will load Windows 11 now. And here you can see install Windows 11. Click on next. It will check for update. Then click on accept. 
again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation login to your computer 